Stargate news? You want Stargate news? Okay. Welcome to Sidetrack, your sci-fi TV and movie channel. So if you are a regular Sidetracker, you will know that in the last couple of weeks, I've had the um, privilege, really, to speak to somebody over at MGM+. Plus. That person has actually said that once all this stuff has been announced, they're going to be able to come on the channel and talk to us directly. So we really look forward to that. So I've had a meeting with him a couple of weeks ago. I did a couple of videos talking about that. And he agreed to meet me again because that meeting was a little bit rushed. So we had another meeting yesterday. And I'm now able to um, tell you a bit more about what he said. So I decided to start the meeting actually with a bit of a quick fire question round. So I basically asked him um, 12 questions. Those 12 questions, I basically said, look, give me yes or no answers. And let's see how we get on. Um, I'm going to do another video after this where I will get into what he actually said and try and break it down and try and fill in some of the gaps. Try and, um, you know, put some meat on those bones. And then we have a third meeting, um, basically talking about Stargate Universe. And I'm going to do a video talking about that. So before anything else, without further ado, let me tell you what the questions are and his answers. I started off with Stargate series on our screens in 2025. His answer, yes, probably. Maybe. Uh, I hope so. He did that all the way through. Will the new Stargate series be 10 episodes like we see on many other um, series currently that stream? His answer, yes. Just straight. Yeah, it will be 10 episodes. So I think we can now confirm that that's, that's what's going to be getting. Um, and to be honest, it's kind of what we've been expecting for quite a while. Um, will there be legacy legacy characters to return to this new series? He said, hopefully. That was kind of always the plan. Um, but, you know, we're going to have to see. Will we get classic Stargate villains returning to this new project? Yes. Ooh, I wonder who. Uh, will we get the Stargate as still a mi military secret or will it be um, like sort of Brad Wright wanted to do and actually known to the public now? He said, hmm, yes and no. I wonder what that means. We'll get into that more. So will this be announced in the summer? Yes, if all goes to plan. Is there a five year plan for Stargate? Now, I ask this question because this is quite common for new series to have sort of a five-year plan. And I've heard rumours several times that there is a five-year plan for Stargate that would actually include potentially um, movies and other series as well as the original Stargate revival. His answer? In that ballpark. So, that would be really be confirming that yes, there is a plan. But no, it may not be exactly a five-year plan. Um, but it's somewhere in that area. Has casting been done? He asked, finalised? I said, yes. He said, no. So there has been no casting currently finalised. I asked, has any casting been explored? His answer, yes. And then he grinned at me. Good. Um, an SGU conclusion. He said, maybe. A SGA conclusion. He said, I don't know for sure, but it's very likely. And now we're going to, we talked more about SGU and SGA following this um, quick fire round. So um, I'm going to come back to you on that in another video. I did ask two more questions though. I asked straight up, is the plan to announce Stargate, the new series at San Diego Comic Con? His answer I have to plead the fifth on that. Now, get into the comments. Tell me what you think that means, because I know what I think that means. Um, I've always been told that this was going to be an San Diego Comic-Con last year. Um, lots of other um, YouTube channels and insiders and stuff have come out about that since. We dropped it first, but a lot of other channels have followed us. And a lot of other insiders, as I said, have said that, that yeah, that was the case. 
San Diego Comic Con is the biggest Comic Con currently, probably, and particularly one for big announcements at Marvel, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and it would only make sense. But as I've always said as well, that if this was something that was going to be on our screens in twenty twenty five, then they would have to go in pre production quite soon. I'm wondering if they will get an announcement, basically just a boring still gets happening. And then San Diego Comic-Con will be where they get actors and stuff on stage. So that might be what he means by I want to plead the fifth. He didn't want to give me an answer either way. I did have one last question. A standard wormhole. Now, I have to put that because I've said how many chevrons before. And I always get comments saying, uh, it's eight chevrons if you go into uh, the Pegasus Galaxy. Or um, it's what it, oh, sorry, sorry. a standard wormhole. You people. Need seven chevrons to lock. How many chevrons are locked right now, would you say, for the new Stargate series? He said, lots of work has been done and undone. I want to come back to that in a second. There was a real intent from Amazon. So I'd say today, right now, five chevrons are locked. In this business, nothing is definite until you are watching it is what he followed that little statement up with. Now, I actually think that's quite a clever little statement because sometimes nowadays, even things get made and they don't appear on our screens. Um, a lot of studios have been scrapping stuff and then getting the tax back on it, doing it as a tax write-off. So, um, yeah, I, I think, you know, he was having a little bit of a, yeah, don't, don't, don't get too excited about this. It's actually on your screen watching it, then it's definite. Until then, anything can happen. Um, he also, though, they said that um, a lot of work has been done and undone. Now, I think that was a reference to the movie. So, um, and basically the two years we've been waiting for this. But that also might have been a reference to Brad Wright and his work on um, the Stargate reboot. So I'd be interested in also getting the comments, guys, to tell me what you think about that. So I'm going to now do a video um, which will come out tomorrow, where I'm going to go through all of these points and see if I can sort of fill in between the lines a little bit. Um, so please like, subscribe and look out for that if you are new to the channel. And then I'm going to tell you all about the conversation we had following. Those are the notes, those are the notes. Um, where we talked about Stargate Universe and Stargate Atlantis and whether he felt that we could see a return for both of those, or basically a conclusion for both of those. His answer was not just sort of giving us an insight into the entertainment business, but also the thinking over MGM+. Plus. And I can promise you, you don't want to miss that video. So if you are new to the channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. It really helps us out. You'll never miss any of our new videos. Also, you can go to patreon.com forward slash sidetrack where most of our new videos do premiere first, and you get to see them without the adverts, you lucky bunnies. It might be a very exciting summer for Stargate fans. Fingers crossed. As always, please stay safe, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>